the Red Deer River, a waterway I'm quite familiar with and have fished many times on more southern parts of the river. But after arriving to the north end of this river, it is a completely unfamiliar experience from the past. Absolutely freezing water. Welcome back. I'm here on the Red Deer River and I've been very south on the Red Deer River catching gold eye and walleye but right now I am north on the Red Deer River. It is beautiful here. Gorgeous gorgeous trout stream. That's what I'm searching for. Some nice beautiful wild trout. It was dirt road for about 30 kilometers out here and we're finally out. I'm excited. Hopefully we can get on a nice trout. Wow, my feet are numb. This is a freezing river. Very cold, very clear. Perfect for some nice trout. So today I'm gonna to be running a small jerkbait, some Caprolin jerkbait. I caught my PB Brown this year on this exact lure. So I have a lot of confidence throwing this bait and it just looks great. Spot looks pretty good. It's got a lot of oxygen in the water because of the moving water and it's cooler. So it's definitely a good spot for these trout. The only issue is that I think it gets hit pretty hard by some of the people out here. It looks, I mean, it's just such a good looking spot. It'd be, I'd be very surprised if no one's fished out here today even. So won't be sticking around these spots very long, unfortunately. I mean, I haven't even got one yet. So the confidence is a little bit down, but I'm gonna throw a few more casts out here and Enjoy my time, it's beautiful. Just another gorgeous looking spot on this river. Wow, beautiful. I'm gonna switch up. I'm gonna put on my go-to finesse trout lure because they don't seem to be biting the jerk bait right now. All right, I tied on a small Anisoptera and see if I can get one to bite on this. Look at that gorgeous cutthroat. You can see how he gets his name. Beauty. I must admit that we were a little bit unprepared coming into this fishing session today. Neither of us had fished this section of the river before. And essentially what we did was just follow along the cold camp road and stopped whenever we found a little road leading down to the river. So we're gonna continue doing that for today. I was good for one fish in that last spot and it's beautiful out here. Let's go. Let's see if we can get another fish at another spot. Get over how beautiful it is down here. 
Awesome. Beautiful waterfall right here in the background. Hopefully there'll be some trout sitting underneath that. I'm sticking with the Annie's Oak Terra and let's see if we can catch them then. Alrighty. So I'm gonna be focusing on fishing some of that white water. It's just rich in oxygen, perfect for these trout. It's beautiful here, man, beautiful. Well, didn't get anything here. And it's hit pretty hard. It's been getting hit hard the whole summer, pretty much. I found all of this stuff. Found a crankbait, a spoon, pickerel rig, and some pliers just from walking on the bank. So clearly there's some fishing pressure here. I saw some bull trout. They're all focusing on spawning. So not a great time of year to fish it, but it was awesome here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to come back here next spring when it opens and get some bull trout. That'll be my goal, but beautiful here, beautiful waterfalls. And yeah, hopefully I'll be back here another time. Thanks for watching.